At the Weather Channel, due to a very potent storm that's getting even stronger, already dumping a lot of snow around New York City. Here's around Columbus Circle, and you know what? It's not that quiet out there right now. Pretty blustery, too. You can really hear the wind howling. Uh, wind gusts at times 15 to 20 miles an hour. Winds now about 14 miles an hour sustained from the northeast. 14 degrees right now, too. Makes for a bitter cold wind chill. Rough night around the city, and you know what? There's more snow on the way. Welcome to Stormwatch. I'm Paul Emick. What we need now is some expert analysis. The Weather Channel's own winter weather expert, Paul Kosin, joins us. Paul, of course, the big question is, why has this event lasted so long and even affected so many people? Well, it's a slow-moving storm system. Uh, there are only few of these uh, kinds of storms. We often see very rapidly developing and moving storm systems that could dump a foot of snow, even two feet of snow, will very quickly. This one is just taking its time, a series of disturbances, interacting with a very strong high-pressure system, uh, temp temperature difference, and uh, tremendous stream of moisture. We can see that on the satellite picture. That's going to be uh, producing this long-lasting storm system that's going to go through tomorrow. Uh, snow will end at some places tomorrow, but they will continue in New York and Boston. They will be ending in Washington up through uh, Philadelphia tomorrow, but continue in New York and Boston. Uh, but all these ingredients are coming together at this time. Uh, here's our very strong high-pressure system. Not a very deep low-pressure system, but we're starting to see signs of its development. It's moving off to the north and east. Uh, temperatures at Wallops Island and at Salisbury have risen up into the low to mid-30s. They're getting rain and fairly strong easterly, easterly winds, indicating some of the warm air that's coming in. Uh, however, interior sections will remain bitterly cold, but that's just an indication of that storm system move the coastline. Uh, overnight. Right now, still not a rapid developer, but we'll have to watch those temperatures rise uh, and pressures to see whether or not this storm intensifies more rapidly. Uh, that could change sort of some of the equations, but right now, sticking with a slowly developing storm system moving up towards the northeast and a continuation of this developing snowfall, possibly mixed with sleet in the Washington through Philadelphia area. It's a state of emergency. It will continue tonight, adding up more snow, uh, several inches more, possibly some sleep mixed in with that. Uh, somewhere in this area we're expecting, uh, we've already, let's say it, there'll be three feet of snow in some areas of extreme western Maryland, eastern West Virginia, and south central Pennsylvania. Uh, generally west of the metropolitan areas, look for possibly up to two feet of snow, 16 to 24 inches total in the Washington to uh, Philadelphia area, and that's probably just this storm. They've had some new snow from the previous storm just on Saturday morning, so some totals even in these areas will approach and exceed two feet starting on Friday to Saturday. So some tremendous snows associated with this storm. Look for six to 12 inches of snow starting to fall hard in the New York City metropolitan area now. Look for six to 12 inches of snow by morning and then additional accumulations during the day, so at least 10 to 15 inches there. Same in Boston, snow will start tomorrow afternoon and continue through the evening. But uh, more, uh, more immediate concern is just looking at the Washington metropolitan area. Radar still dark greens represent more and more of these significant bands of snow, occasionally mixed with sleet, sleet coming through the areas. That will be continuing overnight, probably into the morning hours. Look for at least another several inches of snowfall and total snowfall accumulations by um, Monday evening are going to be on the order of 12 inches plus Boston to Pittsburgh all the way south. And again, some areas here in western Maryland, eastern West Virginia into Pennsylvania could see a total of three feet of snow before all is said and done. So a tremendous storm system. Uh, it will be a history maker. This is a mess, to say the least, isn't it, Paul, throughout the Northeast? This oh, is a really rough situation. It's, it's the ultimate mess, and uh, it's going to be expanding tomorrow to include New York City and Southern New England. What would you say to people right now, for example, I mean, President's Day tomorrow, a lot of folks not making the commute, not having to go to work, but uh, what should they be doing right now to be prepared for the snow? 